Welcome to my channel please like and subscribe, so you will be the first to view latest informations. On this week's last week tonight, John Oliver started out with the aid of acknowledging Masa Amini's demise in Iran, and the protests that have followed, Serpentine Florida Governor Ron DeSantis's political stunt in which he, probably illegally, shipped 50 migrants to Martha's Vineyard we, may want to spend the rest of this exhibit speaking about DeSantis, and why he constantly appears like he's carrying a swimsuit beneath his suit Oliver stated, and Puerto Rico's ongoing distress delivered about through herbal failures and corrupt and or incompetent officials. Then Oliver moved on to his primary story about Brazil's upcoming presidential election. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro, who for the previous four years has pursued far-right insurance policies whilst pretty literally encouraging the relentless destruction of Amazon rainforests, is presently running nicely at the back of his challenger, former President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. Lula, as he is affectionately known, was once given a 12-year jail sentence in 2018 for his alleged function in a large corruption scandal. The case in opposition to him was annulled through Brazil's Supreme Court due to procedural errors, and unexpectedly Free Lula aimed to get his historic job back. Based on polls, it appears like he's going to succeed. Except, many Brazilians concerned that Bolsonaro, who has frequently been described as Brazil's Donald Trump, may additionally no longer accept election effects, and will as an alternative, refuse to provide up power. He's already alleged that judges and election officers are attempting to sabotage him, and referred to as in to query the reliability of digital balloting machines, notwithstanding the reality that they have been nothing however dependable for the previous 25 years. There are only three choices for me Bolsonaro lately instructed cheering supporters. To be arrested, to be killed, or to be victorious. And I inform those scumbags, I will never go to jail. Speaking of Trump, Bolsonaro and his administration are dealing with more than one investigations for wrongdoing. And, ah, uh, additionally talking of Trump, Bolsonaro made the results of the pandemic in Brazil a ways worse than they had to be. He publicly mocked these involved about COVID, sowed mistrust about vaccines, and for months actively prevented the pleas of vaccine makers, attempting to get doses to Brazilians. Once vaccines have been finally available, nearly a hundred percentage of the residents of Rio de Janeiro and the capital, Brasilia, acquired vaccinated, which is extraordinarily top indication that Bolsonaro was inserting in area insurance policies adverse through a massive majority of the country. Imagine that luckily for us Oliver said, Trump's allies had been normally restrained to a shirtless man in a fur hat, a eternally horse pillow baron, and some of his dumber children. But Bolsonaro has huge navy support generally, when anyone threatens democracy, it's a lot less complicated to say, you and what army. When you're in reality sure that character doesn't have a true navy at the back of